Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. In this video, I am taking you through my road trip process and how I plan my long road trips, like my six week to multiple month road trips around the country. We are going to jump right in, but I'm really excited because in this video, I'm actually going to take you through Google Maps to show you exactly what I do and how I come up with my routes. But first I wanna start out, I, and I even took some notes um, so I can really give you guys some good details about how I plan out my trips. But um, I will take you through the maps situation on Google because it's such a huge part of my route planning. But um, to start, I want to introduce you to the two main apps that I use to find campsites and amenities along the road. The first one is campendium.com. That one is, it's not an app, it's a website. I'm like praying someday they'll um, release an app, but it's a, currently a website. And you can find campgrounds, everything from free campgrounds to fancy campgrounds all over the country. And that is like, my go-to for finding the best places to camp. So I use Campendium. Um, I'm also a member, so I pay the $20 a year, but it's worth it because if you pay the $20 for the year on Campendium, you get cell coverage maps, which for me is really important because I need cell service and internet for working when I'm traveling. The second um, source that I use is called iOverlander, and that is an app. So what's nice about iOverlander is I use that more when I'm actively driving and traveling. iOverlander um, will give you, you can filter, of course, like many apps, you can filter, um, but it allows you to find showers, laundromats, places with Wi-Fi, pet services, dump stations, everything that travelers, campers, van lifers, RVers need, iOverlander has that. It even will show you if there's a dirt lot nearby that you can camp in for the night. So iOverlander is a super trusted source of mine that I've been using ever since I started van life. And that and campendium.com really get me through in terms of being reliable sources for traveling around the country. So I always recommend when you're choosing a route, um, do what's best for you and do what suits your driving style. I can drive for a long time. Winston and I can drive for many hours without stopping. Um, and I actually prefer highways. A lot of people prefer more um, like scenic routes, you know, small two lane roads in the middle of nowhere. Not me. I actually prefer highways um, because it's more fuel efficient. I feel like it's safer in case you break down or something. It's you know quicker for help to get to you. Um, you have more grocery stores, gas stations, food, and stuff like that along the way. Um, and also more likely places to stop like Walmart and Cracker Barrel to camp over the night. So I really like main highway driving uh, for that purpose. So you will see in this video that originally my route to Northfield, Minnesota took me a different way than what I ended up deciding on, and I'll show you guys how I came to that conclusion. So for this trip that's coming up, I decided on a really simple route that takes me from Phoenix to Oklahoma City on the I-40, and then essentially takes me north to Minnesota. Um, what I love about this route is the I-40 has everything possible, including like some touristy things along the way. So I really love the I-40. I think it's easy to drive. It's scenic. There's, um, I just, I really like it. I just think it's easy and it's convenient. And I really like driving through Amarillo, Texas and Northern New Mexico. I just, I, it's a great drive. So, um, so ultimately I chose that. They also, those main routes also have like truck stops with restaurants and overnight parking. I take advantage of those a lot, um, especially because you can get breakfast in the morning and, you know, run in and, and get your coffee before you start your travels for the day. So um, I also find that on like main, main highway driving, you also have a lot more secure locations to camp. Um, when I'm staying overnight somewhere like at a gas station or something like a truck stop I want to make sure it's secure and you have a lot more options when you're driving on a main route So 
um, you know, especially for like fuel, like I said, showers, truck stop showers, um, all those conveniences, you know, you really get them when you're, um, when you're not on back roads. But I know people prefer that. I'm just sharing reasons why I prefer main highway driving. Um, I also have great cell service for work and stuff like that. And on this trip, I want to live stream, of course. So that's another reason why I'm taking main highways um, so I can live stream and have plenty of internet service. So, um, you know, and fuel efficiency is not something I really thought about before, but, um, you know, I, I've literally been on my cruise control for like five hours on the I-40 before and talk about fuel efficiency. That's important when gas is over $5 a gallon out West. Also, I hope you're enjoying my kids sitting on the couch relaxing. So, um, what I recommend doing when you are planning a trip is, so for me, I divide it into two legs and I divide it into two halves essentially. So the first half of my road trip is planned, um, because I know it's going to be six weeks and planning that far out, uh, for me, I just, I don't need to. So I plan the first half and, um, I break my trip up into two legs to actually plan the driving portions and again I will show you that as soon as we get on Google Maps here and I walk you through that process. So something that I also um, make sure of too since I have my Planet Fitness membership uh, for showering around the country and that's only $23 I highly recommend the black membership $23 bucks, you can use Planet Fitness around the entire country but the other nice thing is that I even checked out my route through Soda and Wyoming coming back to Arizona um, toward the fall. There's plenty of plant and fitnesses on that route. A couple new ones opened uh, since I was there last year. So I checked and I was able to write down and I take a lot of notes. So, so this is my notebook and I, I'm constantly writing stuff down. So this, as you can see, this just says like, so my home base to Oklahoma City, it's 15 hours. Again, we'll go over this on the map. Oklahoma City to Minnesota is 11 hours. So I split it into those two and then I can kind of divide up my travels as we go. But I found out that there's Planet Fitness in Amarillo, Texas, uh, several around Oklahoma City. So um, Rapid City, South Dakota for when I'm headed back. Uh, in Casper and Rock Springs, Wyoming, there's a Planet Fitness, and there's several in Central and Northern Utah that I'll be coming through. So uh, really just like checking for those amenities and like doing this planning ahead to see where I'm gonna shower, if you have to dump, if that's something that's important to you. Um, you know, making sure you know where you need to go. Um, and like I said, you can use the Planet Fitness app, campendium.com and iOverlander really those three sources and of course Google Maps because Google Maps is incredible um, so I guess those four sources um, are what I use to plan my trips so now let's jump into the maps portion okay guys so here we are on Google Maps and this probably looks familiar to most of you because most of us use Google or Apple Maps but this is Google Maps and I'm currently showing you the route on a computer. Now I find that it's much easier to plan a road trip uh, on Google Maps while using a computer rather than a phone um, because you can change your routes a lot easier and it's just easier to see on a bigger screen. So to start we have, we're starting in Buckeye for my trip and our first main destination is Minneapolis. So I typed in those two and this is the route that it gave me initially. So this is in the very first steps of my trip. I'm like, okay, so ultimately it's gonna take me about 25 hours to get there and this is the route it's gonna get me. But I decided, like I discussed earlier in the video, that I really just wanted to go for fuel efficiency, convenience, and all of the amenities that I enjoy on the I-40. So what I decided to do was change my route. So if you see on the computer here, it says a drag to change route. So what I did was I took this blue route and I just drag it down to Oklahoma City. 
Now it changes the route and it shows it added an hour to my route, but that's okay. It's worth it to drive that extra distance on the I-40 rather than going through um, the tip of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. So I decided that the extra hour would be worth it because now I take a very easy eastern route to Oklahoma City and then I can go right up to Minneapolis. So the nice thing is that you can drag your routes and it will change your your timing, your mileage, and tell you a lot of information, like if the route has tolls and things like that. So what I generally do is I start out by picking my main route like I just did, and then I'm going to separate it into two legs. The first leg being going east and the second leg going north. So what I'll do is, since I decided that Oklahoma City will be my main route change, I type that in and it shows, okay, so it, it'll take me about 15 hours to get there and this is my route. Now from here, I can decide how I want to break up, break up my travel between days and nights and how I want to do that. So it makes it a lot less overwhelming than planning the whole trip at once. I say, okay, so on the first 15 hour leg, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. This is where I'll spend the night. Um, and then from there, I can decide, I can switch it up so I can reverse my starting point destination. So starting in Oklahoma, ending in Minneapolis. And it will give me now, this is the second leg of my trip. So then I can decide, um, you know, these these routes are all kind of similar, so if there are different things you want to see, but this is the initial route that it gave me. I am going to go a slightly different way, I decided, uh, but again, it will tell you if your route has tolls and if it's under construction, things like that. So this way, um, it'll only take me 11 and a half hours, uh, more or less, to get to the Minneapolis area, and I can break that up to and decide where I want to go. So... Uh, you can also, Google Maps has these features, so you can find parking and gas stations, hotels, uh, restaurants, things like that on Google Maps. That makes it super helpful. Um, and you can even save your destinations. You can explore other options, too, um, if it's helpful to you. But ultimately, I just use Google Maps to map out my my routes that way and break them up. And it's nice because you can play around with it and zoom in and, you know, change your routes very specifically if that's something that you want to do. And it will just calculate everything for you. So Google Maps is a must have, um, but I do recommend planning your route on your computer if you can on, on Google Maps because it is just much easier. I do a lot of color coding when I plan, so I use markers to see what days I'm driving, what days I'm camping, what days I'm house sitting, what days I'm going to the cabin, what days I'm going to be with my family. So I really have a nice grid plan in front of me um, and I can put this in my purse so I can access it at all times. It doesn't take up a lot of space in my van. So this is something great um, that I can just constantly reference and keep. So my notebook and my planner. Um, are my babies and I can constantly reference them for my plans, my campground info, and all of that sort of stuff. So um, even though we rely on electronic devices, I always like to write down specific details, addresses, and things like that um, just in case for some reason, I don't know, like the power grid goes down and I have to use an actual map. Thankfully I can. So I just want to make sure I'm prepared in all of those ways. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and Winston on the couch uh, talking about planning our trips and I hope the maps uh, recording was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, be sure to drop a comment. Uh, Winston and I leave on July 8th for our six week road trip, summer 2022. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.